as a coach, when you see a parent is putting a lot of pressure on kids, do you feel it's your place to say something or, or how do you handle that? That's a tough one because you don't want to get in between the player and, and the parent, um, you know, in that situation. Um, a lot of times, um, you know, I'll talk to talk to the kid, and I won't contradict anything that the parent has has said necessarily, unless it's way over the top. But I try to help them look at the situation a little bit differently. Um, that there are other ways of looking at, at the situation, and help them ultimately choose choose a path that is going to be more healthy for them. Um, I've also had had to talk to parents and say, you know. Here's here's what I see with with your son or you, you know your son or daughter, and and here's where I think they're at, and here's how I think we can work together um, to to help him be successful. So if I'm selling him these things on the field, if you can reinforce some of those things at home, and here's some language you can use with him, or here's the language we're using as a team, if you can do that, then then I think we can help him be successful. And most parents will see that as, oh, okay, here's here's something I can do because they want to be involved, they want to help. They're, for the most part, their heart is in the right place. Right. They just may not have thought about the impact that they're having on their kid. Um, and so, as if I can give them some language and I can give them some tools to to be successful, uh, then then that's good. The other parents, some parents are also when when I have that conversation with them. They kind of start to realize, oh, am I being one of those parents? <laughs> I had one dad uh, say that, and I kind of laughed, and I, I didn't say no. Um, <laughs> I said, well, you know, let's just make sure that you know that we we get him in in the right frame of mind when it, you know when he comes to play. Um, and 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 dad, you know, did what he needed to do there. Good. It's an ongoing process, but but you know, ultimately, I, I think Wendy, one of the things that we we've, we've got to do as as coaches is we're trying to help the kids have a healthy relationship with the game, but we're also trying to have parents have a healthy relationship with the game. That it isn't easy. It's not something that's just innate. Um, and it and it and just because we played as as a kid or we played in high school, we played in college, even if we played pro ball, it doesn't mean that we have the skills to be a good supportive parent. And we don't have, and, and that we have necessarily a, a healthy relationship with the game. Um, so those are learned skills, and it takes all of us kind of working together to help parents and and coaches and kids get ultimately what we need out of it. And I think you made a brilliant point before that what worked for you as an athlete or as a coach may not work for every kid, and that's something that's very hard for coaches and parents to understand. It is. It is. It's, you know, we, we want we want so much for our kids to succeed and, hey, I have this experience, I have this way of doing it and it worked for me, so it's got to work for you. Right. No, maybe, maybe not. Um, maybe it's worth giving it a try, but if it's not, if it's not sticking with the kid, then back off and, and let them do what works for them. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.